What's your favorite holiday song? Uh, Baby, It's Cold Outside. That's such a problematic song. Though. I know, that's why I like it. No. <laughs> I really gotta go. But baby, it's cold outside. I'm dressed like a hoe. <laughs> Let me take you for a ride. I think we should roll the opening instead. <laughs> Hello! Hello and welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Ant. I'm Mr. Christopher. And it's happy holiday season. Holidays? Well, a whole, whole, whole. Ho, ho, ho! So stuff some stockings and get ready for some holiday TikToks of the kinky variety. We do these every once in a while. And now I'm a professional because I have my own TikTok. And you have a TikTok So I now. know how they work now. Do you know how they work? They're video, short videos. What's the For You page? For You? <laughs> and what better way to celebrate the holidays than stuff some stockings or your partner's, or your partner's stockings? You so guys, full. don't forget, we have the brand new eggplant plush. I think we're gonna be calling him Jean. Jean. Like, or Aubergine. I think it should be Aubrey. Aubrey. That's their first name. Aubrey They Jean. have two first names. Aubrey Jean. So if you'd like to get your own Aubrey Jean, they are now available in the link down below. You can go to the Safer Shop right now. They are on sale and they're going to be selling for just the next week as of this video. So please get your own Jean or you're gonna be naked because you're jean you won't have your jeans. But otherwise, Daddy, are you ready for some holiday spirits? Am I? And of course, we could not do today's video without our sponsor because there's no way in hell this is gonna be monetized. Because like there's <laughs> nope. always copyright claims and nope. then we're talking about it's true. So roll up them sleeves, stuff your stockings, get your spirits ready, and let's get into the TikToks. So our first TikTok today is a very familiar face who's been in a number of our kink talk reviews, and her name is Esme. Edge me. No, Esme. Edge me. No, anyway. And this one is called POV, you're watching this on December 11th. Five kinky facts about Christmas. One in 10 couples has done the deed while wearing a Santa hat. Oh, true. Is it? Yeah. Are you the one? Cause I'm the other nine. I have not done the deed with <laughs> Santa hat. I did it with nine. Wait a minute. <gasps> Santa? Ho, ho, ho! All right, checks out. 50% of couples say naughty activities feel better at Christmas. Why do naughty things feel naughtier? Just because it's such a wholesome holiday. Everything is nice and family and friends, and so you just want to be dirty in the bedroom. No? Yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no or yeah? <laughs> Yeah. Also, why does it look like Esme is about to attack us right now? She's edging you. Two weeks before Christmas, specifically December 11th, is the most popular day for couples to break up. No, that can't be true. Is that true? Looks like social media analysts say it's close, but not too close to Christmas to be appropriate. Checks calendar. We've got is a few it? days. Oh my God. Checks out. Wait, we're breaking up? No, I mean, no, no. <laughs> Proof. We're not breaking up. Um, okay. Also, we just celebrated our nine year anniversary. Yes. So thank you for Aww. leaving that. Let's break up. No. <laughs> Best of luck. In comparison to the rest of the year, 32% less porn is consumed on Christmas Day. And you could stroke a regime in your lap and your no, family not. think nothing of do it. Do not, do not. The week before Christmas is the most popular time for sending flirtatious messages and has the highest chance of a positive response. This is your sign to shoot your shot. Is that because people are just in a good holiday cheer or they're just horny? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the holidays are a very romantic time. Like, of course, that's when people... They want to cuddle in front of a fire and drink champagne on a bearskin rug well, with a tree in the background. Unless it's December 11th. Yeah. They because everyone's bringing up that. Ho, ho. Oh. Ho. Best of luck. Next TikTok. <laughs> this next one just says, when his kink is pulling hair. <laughs> Is that how you pull a conehead's hair? <laughs> now listen, I'm not mad, but I am disappointed how funny that was. I could watch that over and over and over. <laughs> so there is, so well, let's, let's use this as, this is us reacting. We're not Sniper Wolf. We're gonna give you our actual like feedback and uh, creatively make this transformative. Hair pulling. Are you into it? I hate it. Love pink. 
Oh. Especially, you know, me and my hair. If I've got it done. And oh, every, putting the headphones on? Every single uh -huh. hair is where it's supposed to be. Yeah. If you, I, I, <laughs> I hate it when a Dom pulls my hair, especially if I'm shooting something. Oh. And they, they like mess it all up. And so it's like, blah. <laughs> And then I can't fix it because I'm like tied up or something. I'm like, that is the worst torture you can do to me is mess up my hair while I'm tied up and I can't fix it. When you're consenting to like hair play, tugging versus pulling, very different things. Like a yes. grab yeah. versus a tug is different. You want to go for a grab and do something that is not only secure, not a, not a plunger, but make sure that you are like getting more surface area. The more surface area you have that you're grabbing, not pulling, the, the more sensual it actually gets. And it's always good to like give a little massage if you're getting in the hair region, I'm staying down the neck. I, the neck. I don't mind someone like cupping yeah. my head with their hand and guiding it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's what I normally do. But you know, some people with a thick head of hair, it really is fun to play with. As long as you got consent. Yeah. This next one is from our good friend, Buck Harder. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, <laughs> we now turn to the Oratrice Every boot black has these moments. Cardinal, the Where'd it go? The Oratrice Mechanique <laughs> I love his TikTok. I also love him as a person. Uh, he does my boots in Palm Springs. How much love time. have you made to this person? How much love? I've made no, a lot No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but he's insanely funny and has a really good, healthy TikTok. A lot of them about boot blacking, but a lot of them are just hilarious. Yeah, and very kink specific. Yeah. They, they, they pop into my kink talk every once in a while. Now, I'm not a boot black. Are you a boot black? No, but I like I like getting them done. So if you're looking for some boot black content, education, bucks over on the TikToks, we've reacted to them before. They're funny, they're, they're quirky, hilarious. and they're very cute. In fact, we've got a second one. Oh God. So you know the character Patrick Star from SpongeBob SquarePants? This Patrick Star from SpongeBob SquarePants. Do you know who that is? Uh-huh. At the moment, I'm just kind of picturing him as a himbo that himboed a little too hard. Like, could you imagine a Dom trying to play with him and being like, are you a good boy? And he just stares blankly back and goes, no, this is Patrick. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? <laughs> so, Daddy, what's his catchphrase? Uh, five minutes later. Five minutes later. No, this is Patrick. Daddy, what do you think his catchphrase is? No, this is Patrick. Oh, really? <laughs> that's it's a catchphrase. That's what he says it's all the time? No, this is Patrick. Next TikTok. Ready? Um... Well, jump on, let's go. This oh one. God. Uh, Am I gonna be triggered? We're not breaking up. For the record, we're not breaking up. But You're let's say you break up horse? with your horse. All right, ready? Um, well, jump on, let's go. There's something I need to tell you. You can tell me on the way, let's go. It's just that I don't think I'm gonna need you anymore. What? Why? Well, there's like a variety of different re- Is that a car? Is it? I didn't fit, I don't. What did I do? No, nothing. It's just I've moved on. <laughs> and I think you need to do the same. What? I'm sending you to a farm upstate. No, 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 no. Oh. Well, this is actually really lovely. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> I'd be like, no, you do, no, you no. Hate change. Actually, that's kind of cool. But then once the, yeah, no, you're <laughs> so against change or critique or like feedback. And then you what get. What do you mean? You are very competent. You are very skilled. But sometimes, oh, Rebe case in point, new social media, TikTok. You should try it. And you're like, I did it. Now, I How long has TikTok been around, editor? But. <laughs> and you just started. So, but I started. I think that is the point we're missing here. Next TikTok. All right. Hi, sorry, I was just wondering oh, if you guy. had any update. Who are you here to see again? The egg. I'm afraid she's very busy right now, but if you just take a seat, I'm sure but it I've won't. I've been waiting for ages. Sperm can survive up to five days in a fallopian tube. That's true. I've already Isn't been it? here That's for true. four. Like I said, she's very busy right now, but if you take a seat, I'm carrying I'm... precious genetic cargo. Yes, you mentioned. If I die, it's gonna all be lost. I have a feeling you lot will keep coming. <laughs> Julie. <gasps> You're... You're the most beautiful cappuccino, please, Julie. Oh. It's you. Oh. oh. I mean, he's got to go against like 300 million like other people going for the same job. That's like clever writing, though. Oh, no, this guy's great. He does little skits with costumes. He's very, very funny. I appreciate the candor, the realism, but also like just the deadpan, like, 
like the humor to it yeah. similar to similar to the horse but again that's 300 million other people that he's going against for this job opportunity. Well, they're all usually... sitting behind him. Look. Yeah. Yeah. You're reading the paper. I, I didn't even realize that it's a bunch of him. You didn't acting. realize that? No, I didn't even. Wait, wait. I didn't even realize. They're, and are they all good. moving too? No, oh, they're they moving. They're moving. moving. Oh, that's a lot of work. How did he do that? Sperm fact. Did you know some people can be allergic to cum? Yes, because we just said that in the cum cocktail video we just did. We did, but it didn't make it into the edit. <laughs> Why did you put that in? Editor. <laughs> the TikTok. Thank you. Like you. That one? Yeah, he's funny. Next TikTok. Ooh. Okay. Problem number one, eye contact. Problem number two, oh. you're weak. Yeah, daddy. <laughs> you know, how many takes did he get to do that right? And you have a horrible light above your head. Just tilt it just a little bit. While the lighting might be weak, he's much he's, stronger than the, the first call him guy. Daddy. Yeah. Look at Make me. eye contact. Eye contact. Ah! Oh, oh, it was just Almost the over. one. <laughs> it was just the one. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? You can pop my buttons, baby. Uh huh. Well, now I can't button it ever. Again. Actually, I do like it better. Like does this. it fit better? It does. And now that my shirt's open again, did we mention new Safe Word Shop merch dropping? <laughs> now you too can get your own Safe Word Shop merch. I don't know about you, but new kink unlocked. Yeah. New kink no, unlocked. Hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, we could not do today's video without our sponsor because there's no way in hell this is going to be monetized because, like, there's <laughs> nope. always copyright claims and nope. then we're talking about sex and we're going to try our best to make it, like, you know, PC, but we're going to, we're going to get, we're going to get kinky. <laughs> The art of surprise to catch you off guard and talk about today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. Now I know what you guys are thinking. How do these two numbskulls not only look great, but sleep great? Well, with today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. I don't know if that was gas or clever cut and editing just to hide the fact that I probably forgot a line for a second there, but today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep, who make premium mattresses and bedding customized to your needs and is one of our longest running sponsors here on What's the Safe Word. And the nice thing about Helix is they know that everybody is different and they're able to use a Helix Sleep quiz, which is a quiz you can take by yourself or with a partner to find the mattress that is perfect for you. But you can tell them your name, your age, your height, your weight, as well as your preferred sleeping positions. We generally prefer side or back and your firmnesses. And I'm more of a medium while daddy's kind of firm. I like a super hard. Oh, 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 oh. And maybe you were destroyed by COVID entirely and you just have aches and pains in the morning. You can even let them know about that. Anyway, all that to say, we ended up taking the quiz and we got the what daddy? Dusk Lux. Which we have had for over three years now, both of us independently, our own mattresses. And daddy, how are you sleeping? Like a rock. But they also are getting awards for the best mattresses for sex. And with a hybrid combination of foam and springs, they ship right to your door quick and easy, as well as free in the US. Got some scissors or Oh my God. Do not try this at home. And then they make this patented daddy sound that sounds like. Nay, psh, nay, psh. Nay. Unlike other brands, Helix mattresses do not contain fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. The best part though is that Helix Sleep delivers directly to your door with free shipping in the US, comes rolled up in a box, and they even give you a 100 night sleep trial. Over three months, you get to try it for free, a 10 year warranty, and financing options and flexible payment plans. And this month specifically, Helix is doing a Cyber Week sale. And during the Cyber Week sale, which you can see the details down below, I can't think of a better time or a better gift to have during the holidays for maybe yourself or someone in your life that just needs better sleep. So check out Helix Sleep at the link down below. HelixSleep.com slash what to get 25% off your Helix mattress plus a free bedroom bundle for a limited time. Check out Helix for more details. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome back from that lovely Helix ad. Now, when it comes to home furnishing, beds are super important, but so are other fixtures, daddy. And I think we need more plants. Am I the only one fixated on the hardware in the doorway? Very good. Uh. Folding, by the way. I don't know what that means, What's but folded? let's find out. Oh, I didn't realize you could see those in that video. Um, so this is the dormered out space in our bedroom. And my wife's a big plant person. She likes to hang plants places. And she's like, yeah, I need more places to hang plants. So um, so I put those in. Like, I didn't know. Maybe she's going to hang some really heavy plants. Like, I don't know. Some plants are like... 1500 pounds, right? I think yeah. these would max out at like 5,000 pounds. Like and like 5, maybe she would want to hang some, some plants down here.
Hey, Dad, why is there a plant hanger on the side of the, the wall? So you can reach them at the same time. Okay, I see I, what he was doing there. I want to be a plant, please. Yes. So have you ever noticed in comments when people see something in the background and they call it out? Oh, really? yeah. People it, love fixating on things. Look, look at this tree. Look at this tree. I did this bat TikTok and everyone was commenting on the artwork and the different plants that, around the bat that I was removing. <laughs> So I didn't show them the plant hooks that were up there, but... Anyway, can we get some more plants? I have all the hooks. Next TikTok. This one's also a comment responding. It says, called out on the brat part. Did you ever get called out as a brat? No, because I'm not a brat. These are the types of brats I know part... You! Brow brats. Masters of non-verbal defiant communication. Oh, when they're bratting, they don't need to say anything about it. They don't need, they don't need to say anything about it. Because they use their eyebrows? I'll take that as a yes. Okay, let's see what other brats exist. Swats. Switch brats. Oh, they're experienced on both sides of play Let's and they can't wait rats. to let you know it. Yeah, that was good. I mean, what I would have done is... <laughs> I may have done that yesterday during a scene. <laughs> yeah, you wanna, you wanna uh, make a comment on this someone one? Someone was flogging me. Uh, to be fair, uh -huh. they asked for feedback and I gave it to them. <laughs> And as soon as I was done, I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> the flames on the side of my face, competa brats, actually kind of my favorite. Usually in group play practices where they notice somebody else, another duo is going a little bit harder in their scene and they want to surpass. Faster. <laughs> harder. <laughs> I literally saw someone who was getting single-tailed at a sex camp and the dom wasn't connecting right. He literally went over his shoulder. Use the tip! <laughs> Next, brat. Meeker. Meeker. Well, they play it all sweet and quiet, but a lemon covered in sugar is still sour. Oh, I just thought I'd lean in because it felt like your arm was getting tired. <laughs> Backhanded compliments. I, just, I mean, that was pretty good, but I was just, you know, I have a little too much room to move. Yeah. The bondage is tight enough, so I'm just gonna lean this way. Oh, uh, no, it's fine. It's uh, it's fine. You know, it could be better, but... Oh, oh sorry. I was gonna... <laughs> that generate the most frustration and prostration. Deniers. I am not a brat. You're just not being very intimidating. That sounds very pointed. <laughs> roll, roll the tape back. I think someone said I'm I not never a brat. said I wasn't a brat. But I'm not a brat. Did that sounds like denial to me, actually. <laughs> Good TikToks, great candor, lovely factual reporting on brats. Actually, that was pretty funny. Love that. Next TikTok. Fire rescue. Hey, uh, I was taking a shower. I slipped and fell and. Is that the rock? No, but he could rock something. Uh, and you hurt your back? No, my, my back doesn't hurt. But you fell? Uh-huh. And you're oh, no. in pain. You could say that. Okay, uh, I'm a little confused here. Did he, what did he sit on a shower shot or something? It must be anal. There's a soap bottle in my rectum. <gasps> <laughs> like the whole thing? The whole thing. And, and you <sighs> fell? Does it really matter at this point? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Go ahead and get going. Oh, God, don't use things that are not... If do it you... don't have a flare, don't stick it up there, or you're going to have to dial it back. Do you know what the chances would be to fall <sighs> in the perfect position on a soap bottle for that to be no, true? I think the paramedic knew the chances. Yeah, That's no, why I know. There, yeah, there was a question. Right? There's no follow-ups there. <laughs> <gasps> this is just the palate cleanser of the episode. Oh, oh. look at the bodies! Oh, look at them oh. try. Oh. <laughs> that one was eating. Oh, yeah, he's still eating. Uh, that was it. After that soap, I that was needed good. a little palate cleanser. That last guy needed something to clean himself out too. I think that's why he did this. <laughs> Next TikTok. Uh, we were tagged in this and it said, you guys might relate. Mm, okay. Hey, mommy, can you uh, pass me the salt, please? Here you go. Here you go, baby. She just. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Do you uh, get it? Okay. Well, I thought so it was the mom. Let's role play. We're yeah, at, yeah, we're yeah. at Christmas dinner. Oh, mom! Thanks so much for cooking. This stuff is great. Hey, daddy, can you pass me this? So yeah, you've done that. <laughs> this next one was not set in by any of you gremlins. This one's actually from daddy. Daddy had a TikTok recommendation, so I said absolutely. Wait a sec, I know this guy because he does whip things. <laughs> I love Jack the Whipper. He is amazing. Let's see what he's got to okay. say. Oh my God, that look. Though. Here's the thing about the secret show. Secret show is a PG-13 show. Oh. So we want to be very clear, parents. If you think that this has been okay, a little raunchy, but okay, believe us when we tell you it is about to get so much worse. <laughs> I can't wait. Of course, that's how we react. So, uh -huh. you know, yeah. And you know why no. it's going to get worse? No, why? Because I'm French. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I can do a proper French accent, but here's the problem with the proper French accent. Is the problem with if you do a proper French accent is the people they have a, they have all time understanding you, and the problem is, is they need to concentrate on the words. They need to focus. All right. And this is the problem. When the audience focus. has to fuck us, it creates all sorts of problems. I don't want the audience focus. to have to fuck us. All right. You understand what I'm saying, Seth? <laughs> Focus. Yes, but it says you need to fuck us now, all right? This is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. I saw the king the other day and I said, oh, your Ennis. It is so good to see your Ennis today. And the king, he got upset. I did not understand why the king was upset. So I turned to the queen. I said, oh, your Ennis is looking beautiful. Your Ennis is And so she big. got upset. <laughs> He knows what he's doing. <laughs> no, he's and I'm having clever. a hard time trying to fuck us. <laughs> <sighs> I didn't understand why, and this is the problem, people. I do not want people to be still um, upset. I want people to feel the joy. I want them um, uh, to feel uh, a penis, all right? Penis. I want everyone, I want you to feel a penis. I want you to feel a penis. I want <laughs> everyone here penis. to feel a penis. a penis. And I want to remind you that children should not <laughs> be at this show. <laughs> That was the best one. You can't spell happiness without, without using a penis. penis. <laughs> this is my one of my favorite TikToks. He's so funny and he's insanely good with a whip. Next TikTok. Hey babe, can you slap me? No, yes. Absolutely not. It's for a bed. Jacob is gonna give me twenty dollars if I get you to slap me in one minute. No, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. Babe, it'll be the only time that you will slap me, okay? Haven't I been annoying? Just slap me across my face. Fine. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable slapping you. Like, I can't. Okay, I get it, but it's $20. It's not gonna hurt. You're not that strong. Just, just do it. If you beg me sexually, then yes. If you What? Beg. Now we're both gonna be doing things that we don't want to do. So do it. <laughs> Get hot. Mommy, I've been a bad boy. And I need you to slap me. That's better. Oh! <laughs> well, now you can get your 20 bucks back. What do you mean back? I had $20 in my wallet already, so I'll have 40 now. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> bratting exists everywhere. If you can learn anything from today's episode, bratting exists in all relationships, in all ways, shapes, and forms, and in all wallets. Uh, Daddy, you had a 20, right? I, I needed a... 20 for um, dinner. Oh, 20. weird. Where did it go? I don't know where you in my pockets. <laughs> you need to get slapped maybe to get it back? <laughs> sure. <laughs> that was a good one, though. I Do you, do you relate with this? Yes, I would do this. <laughs> and I, I do love the comedy. But next TikTok. What are both of our kings? I love this comedian. Oh, what? Do you, do you watch them on TikTok or on Instagram? I watch them on TikTok and Instagram. They come up in both. So this is Mateo Lane, mm -hmm. wonderful TikToker, YouTube personality, Instagrammer, very gay, very funny. Gay, 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 gay. But I didn't know he had kinks. Mm. Oh, wow. I mean, even a woman asking for me, you're on the right path. I mean, I don't know who My kink, uh, I mean, familiar. at this point, I'm so tired of sex. If you just hold a 401k over me, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I'm thinking what a kink is. I mean, well, in this crowd, because <laughs> you got to be very specific with gays. You know, straight people look like, their kinks like one time I pulled her hair, and gays are like, ah, child. Don't pull, <laughs> don't grab, pull hair. We already covered Mateo, this. Mateo, we've been over this. Gays are like, ah, child's play. <laughs> <laughs> I know whatever I'm gonna say is gonna sound. I'm gonna sound so prude here. Yes, I'll take yeah, a finger no. in the ass. That's good. Yeah. 
I, I do love the juxtaposition of a very gay man and then what seems to be a very straight man. Seems very Quite straight. Quite literally. Yeah. That was a joke comedy. Oh, a woman's finger. Uh, <laughs> calm down, folks. It's not funny, though. Why is that funny? <laughs> so nice. Sweet. It's good. That's, I'll take know. the whole Yeah. <laughs> hey, maybe the finger's a gateway drug. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> So Who so says straight. the finger is a gateway <laughs> drug? Just, straight this is like wild. talking to half my friends in high school. Fix TikTok. Tell me you're kinky without telling me you're kinky. <gasps> oh. I'll go first. I was driving home from work today uh, when I asked Siri to play a certain song for me. She did without any complications. So without thinking about it, I muttered good girl under my breath. <laughs> I just gave fun. praise to the AI for doing its job. <laughs> So, it would be funnier if Siri responded. Yes, I am a good girl, Daddy. Daddy, tell me you're kinky without telling me you're kinky. Make me. Exactly. <laughs> this is the symbol of hospitality. I don't know the pineapple. how or when or why this became a symbol for other things. Hi! Welcome to Kinky History. Oh, wait. So there's a trend right now. You know what a trend is on the internet? Yes. It's when a pattern of things keep occurring. Correct. Or like memes, right? Yeah. Anyway, the upside down pineapple is a meme, a reference, a symbol online to be kind of like, ooh, like insert, you know, vibes. Um, so I don't know why specifically, besides pineapple being just a very fertile fruit, piss play. I don't know why specifically, but Esme's back. Let's discuss the swingers pineapple. Since the 1700s, the pineapple is did she say swingers pineapple? I think pineapple means swingers. Oh. Since the 1700s, the pineapple has been a recognized symbol of hospitality. As discussed by this creator, oh. they were incredibly costly to import from the Caribbean. And so displaying one at a dinner party was a sign of opulence as much as it was friendship. Oh. Because straight people, it's just one finger is kinky. So yeah. they bring, the gays are like pineapples. Pineapple. It was also a little bit sexy. The pineapple first appears in English literature in 1629, in John Parkinson's retelling of the Adam and Eve tale. Oh. And in this story, Eve is tempted by a pineapple rather than an apple. Oh. The pineapple was chosen because of its erotic, seductive associations, huh. tempting Adam with its sweet smell and taste as well as Eve. But that's an interesting connection I never would have known. Seeped in erotic connotations, as well as a symbol for welcoming others into your home, it's unsurprising oh. that the pineapple became a symbol of the swingers community. By the 90s, displaying an upside down pineapple was a way to communicate that you and your partner were non-exclusive and into swinging with others. Because oh, I've never heard that. Is that common knowledge? blew up on TikTok in 2021, uh. largely cracking this code for the wider community. Oh, this I love sexy that. pineapple is deeply rooted in history and it's still trending today, maintaining its meaning of hospitality and hospitality. Wow. I love that That fact. was like flagging, but with symbols. I love learning about straight culture. <laughs> is Which that is not inherently you know? No, not inherently straight. I was, I'm just joking. That's so interesting. I've never heard that before. Like I knew pineapples were kind of like a fun symbol that was like more flavorful. And I'm more fixated on when the Bible took it from pineapple to apple. Did you have some pineapple moonshine? Yeah. No, we have leftovers, remember? Drunk. Thank you, Esme. That was a great fact. That was fun. I appreciate that. And I learned something. Now, are you familiar with the gear shift? Daddy, you know what a prindle is, yeah? A prindle? You mean the prindle? The what? The prindle. Prindle. Are you referring to the shift lever that says P-R-N-D-L? <laughs> That's a child's most be. I know how to spell prindle. It is not something you spell. It is a gear shift. The letters stand for park, reverse, neutral, drive, and low. You're making me nervous with all this technical talk. Oh, I'm sorry. Why don't we just relax? We'll turn on the radio. Would you like am or fin? <laughs> you, what is this? You know what this is? Because this is a, this is, this is no. just something for is me to laugh at. Is this a show? At. Yeah, this is from the sweet life of Zach and Cody. Anyway, they're in this Disney show. This is just a, a magical moment about the Prindle, mm -hmm. which this stands for. P-R-I-N-D-L. 
What is I when you're driving? Intermittent. <laughs> Beside the point, we're gonna now float down the river to the next TikTok. It says vanilla folks wandering on to kink talk. What kind of a princess are you? What kind? Do you have magic hair? No. <laughs> magic hands? No. Do animals talk to you? No. Were you poisoned? No. Cursed? No. Kidnapped or enslaved? No. Are you guys okay? Should I call the police? <laughs> <laughs> that was really well done. Was that from Snow White? No. Well, Snow White's in it. Were you poisoned? No. That is from Wreck-It Ralph, the, the second oh, Wreck-It Ralph, right, right, where she right. sees all the Disney princesses together. Do you have daddy issues? Neither do we. And they're talking about their struggles. And when vanilla people get onto kink talk, that is a struggle. They're they're gonna be surprised. Whoa, whoa. We get that all the time on our channels. People come which, over and which like, one what? Are we? what the? Well, I see it in the YouTube com comments because they're like, how did this end up in my algorithm? <laughs> it's like, it's your, it's your page, bestie. But also this is me. Do animals talk to you? You're the pup player? <laughs> which one are you then? Tag I'm, yourself in the comments. I'm either edge player. No, you're more edge. Yeah, there, there you I'm are. I'm even edgier <laughs> player. <laughs> Next TikTok. I'm here to get a Halloween costume, and I had no idea Spirit started selling these kinds of dolls now. Oh, wow. All right, let's press the button. Daddy. Daddy. How is this scary? If Daddy. anything, it's just inappropriate. Daddy. I'm going to eat more than just your soul, baby girl. Oh, Daddy. No. Daddy. Oh, my God. Wait, okay. So at first that looked like a mannequin. Did they She has a great uh makeup. Well, she she was yeah. so still. Because everyone knows that you don't need daddy issues if you have a daddy subscription. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, daddy. I just want to say this is the nightmare before Christmas. This is this is our little horror callbacks. Uh and also the nightmare before Christmas is a Christmas movie, right? I I can't say anything because people will Is come Die Hard a Christmas movie? I knew you were gonna do that. Is Die Hard see, a let's let's see, fight, this is a fight, trap fight, question. Fight, You're fight, leaving fight. By the way, uh you owe me uh twenty dollars. Uh, <laughs> telling people to slap me. Distortion. <laughs> and of course, last but not least, who doesn't love a little bit of daddy on TikTok? Do you have daddy issues? Don't forget to follow daddy on TikTok. He knows out he's on TikTok. I don't know if it's a good thing now, but he at least I, I don't I don't put all the effort these people put into it though. I just put some music. I don't in know. This it. TikTok is you being a lot of effort. Let me just say, uh, rating pervertibles while shopping. This, this, no, this is no. <laughs> this is a good pervertible though. We're right? just trying to shop, and you're over here. Shop, and I'm not consenting. Swatter three they, out no, of ten. those should be higher. Those... Jesus. 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 These are not the loofahs you're looking for. How can, okay, this is sexist, right? Does mommy <laughs> get to scrub and daddy has to do the dishes? Yeah. Well, and why are the dishes we still not done? Do well, because they what? made daddy a sponge. I just did your dishes. Actually, this is good. You sponge daddies sponge. are actually yeah, really no, good. <laughs> no, I'm gonna clean good my product. dishes, not you. Oh. Good product. Daddy scrubber 10 out of 10. I love that I have a George Michael shirt and you're playing George Michael I know, Michael right? It fits. <laughs> I ain't joking. <laughs> Scrub me. SpongeBob. Oh no, that's Patrick. No. <laughs> Thank you guys for not only the recommendations today, making us laugh, giggle, and chortle quite a bit. Um, chortle? Chortle. Give, chortle. Give, us a, give us a good chortle. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment of other channels we should check out for next time, maybe. And if you like ringing bells, ring that bell and you might be notified of our next one. Or you could get an eggplant and have a little snack or send someone the message. But like if someone sent you that, what, what would the message be? Uh, come over to my place later. <laughs> and cuddle. <laughs> yeah. Thank you again to Helix Sleep, who was the sponsor of this episode and made it possible to play. Because again, I, there's probably like 50 copyright claims down below for all the different songs and things that were present in this video. Yep. And we will see you guys next time. Bye! Is that what Santa says? Ho, ho, ho. Well, only when he's looking at you. When he's looking at me, he says, good boy, good boy, good boy. Mm. Here, you can say dink it. Dink it. <laughs> Animals talk to you?